Ugh. What's the matter, Mark? I'm trying to find my blood type, but these medical forms are just so complicated. Oh, Mark, you silly idiot. You don't have to understand forms anymore. I don't? No! Just send all your information to BingePipe and they'll find the answers for you. They can do that? Sure. Thanks to BingePipe's customer vault, I can send them my medical history, credit card details, voting record, deepest fears, food allergies, romantic preferences, and lucky numbers, and they'll sort through it to find the data I need and keep the leftover details for themselves. Wow. Wow, that sounds great. Looks like I won't need this paperwork. And with the extra time, we- Binge Pipe, in an effort to capitalize off of 90s nostalgia, presents You Don't Know Jack. Binge Pipe, you are complicit. Hi, I'm Cookie Masterson. And not a single doctor can tell me why I make that sound. What a friendly group of people, and one person playing this game against their will. You all know who it is. Ready or not, here we go. Time for question one. To get started, cruel and unusual punishment. Whose torture game is on point? The Executioner using the Brazen Bull, The Executioner using the Rack, The execution. So what'd you pick? Any medieval torturer knows that you slowly get roasted in the Brazen Bull, the Rack pulls you apart, and the Tub causes maggots to slowly eat you. But the Iron Maiden impales you with a lot of spikes. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Here we have the Hundred Acre Purge. The animals of the Hundred Acre Wood turn feral and adopt the diets of their real world counterparts. Which grisly scenario is most likely? Pumal's owl, Tigger feasts on Piglet, Kanga consumes Rue, or Owl disembowels Eeyore. Okay, who chose what? That's... that's her kid. You know that, right? What kind of monster are you? <laughs> Most bears are omnivores and eat anything, but not many are fast enough to get their claws on a bird. Not that that know-it-all doesn't have it coming. <laughs> As dedicated carnivores, tigers are only too happy to chow down on pig. <laughs> Even ones in little striped jumpsuits that clearly suffer from chronic anxiety. Coming up, K for country, and D for dis or dat. I'm gonna list off seven things, and for each I want you to tell me if it's the name of a Korean pop music group, or a micronation. You know, little groups that claim they're a country but no one else thinks they are. Yeah, one of those. Answer quick, you'll only have a few seconds to choose between K-pop or a micronation. And you're all doing this together, so focus up. Ready? Let's go. Boys Republic. Doveland. Bye Bye Sea. Kingdom of Viper. Island and Three Sisters. Urban Zakapa. Republic of Fredonia. The majority of you are just average. But player two, you just plain sucked at that dis or dat. Actions have been taken to ensure you have a better playing experience. Oh, that means it's screw time. That's right, Cookie. Screw it. Yeah, I was getting tired of this, too. You're welcome, devoted customer. You're my question for forevermore. I love you. My question for. Why not try Charles Deep Sea Dickens? 
If you read a book about a sad yet street smart sea urchin, he would most likely say, Please sir, have pity on me, I got no heart, mouth, feet, or anus. Well, well. <laughs> Layer 2 has invoked the screw. Let me get rid of those pesky vowels. Okay, what'd you pick? Oh, you tried so hard. <laughs> Let's save ourselves some time. Sea urchins do not have a heart. But that doesn't mean they can't love. Love is universal. You know, like uni in sushi. No? Okay, never mind. Yeah, that screw is a good move player, too. Here's your extra cash. Here's one for you. Ain't no party like a political party because a political party is carefully mediated. In high school, I did some embarrassing things at my model UN club, but only one of these stories about my interactions with Icelandic leadership is accurate. I tripped over the president and fell on the king. The prime minister and the queen stole my lunch. The president told the prime minister I like, liked her, or the czar was cool, but the archbishop gave me a wedgie. Let's see who got it. Um, excuse me. <laughs> Here's what you meant to pick. In Iceland, the president is the head of state, but the prime minister leads the government. Thus, I was booted out of the model UN and thrown into the replica Hague. <laughs> Round one is over. Let's see those scores. Currently, player three is in the lead. Player two, on the other hand. Wow, you are really doing it. Poorly. Your performance has triggered the need for another screw. And don't forget, round two screws are more powerful. And they'll net you more cash for each player that gets the question wrong. So do not be afraid to use that thing. The rest of you better answer quick or you'll end up screwed. Oh, and by the way, all the cash in round two is doubled. In case you care about things like that. We didn't approve this point structure, but okay. Six trombones is not a parade. How about this one? Is auto-tune still a thing? God, I hope so. I brought out the auto-tune for this segment I call Tuna Rumors. Tell me which Atlantic bluefin tuna rumor is true. I heard if they stop swimming, they die. I heard they are cold-blooded. I heard the biggest one was 200 pounds. Or I heard they are vegetarians. Let's see how that shook out. In a word, that is not the correct answer to this you-don't-know-jack question. Tuna need water moving over their gills to breathe, so if they stop moving, they will suffocate. It's okay to dish on fish when the tuna rumors are true. J'ai mangé tous les oeufs. Set. Next up, it was load bearing. And uh oh, chest strut fits lime floor. It's time for a flicker fits lime scum. Remember to type quick. That cash will be counting down until you lock in an answer. Okay, get ready. Check out this gibberish phrase and try to guess which popular TV show title it rhymes with. Wow, you hit the stray fifth girder. And don't worry about that punctuation. A very important lesson. Making a killing. Okay, pencils down. Player three? No, wrong, bad. I think we were all thinking it. Oh, and player three? I saw what you typed in. And, um, 
and I want to thank you for it. You know, people ask me all the time, Cookie, what's your favorite part of the game? And I'll say something like, oh, I love this or that questions. Total garbage. Because you and I both know this is my favorite part of the game. The FU file. Because I know that when you type that in, what you're really saying is, I love you. Anyway, I know you want the full Easter egg treatment, so uh, look at your device. Okay, back to the game. Was then I learned to heed the winds of it. This one's called Waxing Nostalgic. I'm feeling wistful, so I brought out my old ventriloquist dummy, Billy O'Brien. Nah, did you miss me, Dunny? You know, I actually did. Hey, you want to read a question for old time's sake? Why, indubitably. If Cookie remembers the good times with me, that forgets the dad times. What to psychological phenomenon is he experiencing? Fading affect dias? Choice supportive? Well, what do you know? <laughs> my friends, Player Two has unleashed the screw. This one goes out to my lawyer. I love you, Kurt. And how do we do? Fading affect dias is the tendency to forget dad nanneries and remember good nanneries. Well, thanks for stopping by, Billy. That will definitely be a good memory. That's it? He didn't even play my song. Yeah, I know. We're not doing songs for special questions in this game, Billy. Binge Pipe says it's too expensive. Mm, one's made of skin, one's made of wood. Wah, wah. Who's the dunny? Not me. Like that song? Mm-hmm. You proud of yourself? Yes. Na, 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 na. Try this on for size. Octopus Coffee, Queen Elizabeth, or Frankenstein? Octopus Coffee, Queen Elizabeth, or Frankenstein? It's monster. Known for... Wait a minute, you said Dinge Tight cut the songs! Come on, Billy, you've only got one question in this game. Making you a new song seem like a waste of time. Can I do one more question then, please? <sighs> Fine, you can finish this question. First started the humans in the 1920s. Octotus, coffee, queen of... So who got it? Queen Elizabeth II was first started by humans in 1926, chattedly seconds after she was born. Yeah. I'm sorry I lied to you, Billy. You want to stick around for the rest of the game? Nah, I got a hot date tonight, and I need to lose some Nate. How are you going to lose weight by tonight? Tonight. Yep, now I remember why we stopped doing that question type. Next, 
Here's the UPS guy. I recently installed one of those video doorbells at my apartment. Hmm, looks like I have an alert now. Hmm, there's an axe-wielding maniac chopping up my door. It's just like in The Shining, except that was... The kitchen door, the living room door, the bathroom door, or the hotel lobby door. Okay, let's take a look. That's right! Jack Torrance in The Shining chops up the bathroom door with an axe after he goes nuts. Alright, maybe maybe I should do something about this guy. I don't know, call the police or something? Oh no, no wait, he's tuckering himself out. Yeah, he's going to sleep now. Okay, we're good. Ow. You made it to the attack. When you see an answer that matches the cat, Ah, I see you already know the rules. Here's your clue. My signature look. I'll give you an article of clothing. You name the cartoon character that traditionally wears it. Good luck. Well done, Player 3. You won by a small margin, but you still technically won. Just like I still technically graduated with a degree in culinary arts. Oh, and just remember... You don't know Jack! Enjoy this exclusive behind-the-scenes content from You Don't Know Jack. <clears throat> I'm feeling wistful, so I brought my old ventriloquist dunny... Dunny. Come on, let's take it from the top. Look short. <clears throat> I'm feeling wistful, so I bought my old... Not dot, draught. Sorry, sorry, I, I, I don't know what's wrong with me today. Do you need a five-minute drink? Seriously, should we take a five? Your nine is obviously elsewhere, you amateur. Why are you such a f Because that's the way I was made. <sighs> Look, it's just, it's been like four years. Reunions are hard. Not for the Snuthers Druthers. Yeah, because they never separated. Let's start from the top. <clears throat> I'm feeling wistful. So I brought out my old ventriloquist dummy, Billy O'Brien. 
Did you miss me, Danny? Yeah, I really did. Me too, you dick, Danny. Thank you for joining us for this Binge Pipe bonus content.